just speaking over the clip and saying how beautiful you looked head oh, to toe. So, so do you. Oh, thank you. And I'm not wearing a ton of color today. I wore enough color for the both of us. Okay, honestly. good. And everybody here is bringing it with the color. Yeah, literally everybody has color on. I love it. Color, it changes everything. You don't like something, you change the color, you love it. It's just weird. And color is very mood inducing, yes. I feel. That's why I wear a lot of red for danger. Just know danger is coming when I'm coming. And hot. Yeah. And bright. Hot, and apparently yeah. attracts men. <laughs> well, Cheryl wants nothing to do with that. Apparently not, no. actually. Cheryl um, doesn't want to attract any men. So no. maybe red isn't her color anymore. But all I will of a sudden. say, for her not wanting to attract men, you've made a big difference with your character in a lot of people's lives. Yeah, thank you. Um, I actually called the showrunner during the pilot and said, I think Cheryl's a lesbian. She doesn't like men. And he was like, great, let's unpack that. Let's talk about it. And sure enough, we had her come out in season two. And I think that's the coolest thing I've gotten to do as an actor so far is have my art touch somebody's life like that. I've had a couple of fans come up and say that it's been a huge inspiration to them to come out, which has been incredible. Well, I think your show definitely uh, has major ages uh, attending the party. Yeah. But I'm sure there's also a lot of young people watching it who are at a tender age. Yeah. And let's face it, growing up is a very beautiful, uncomfortable, raw, funny, uh, awkward, awkward journey. Awkward thing. Yeah. So if people can see that that's out there, then maybe it makes them feel more welcome. May I ask why you had that instinct to do that? I don't know how to explain it. I just knew in my gut. I, she had to kiss a guy in season one, and it, that was the confirmation for me. It was like, she's for sure not into men. I applaud you for ingratiating that into your character and into Thank the you. show, because I'm sure it really speaks to some of the audience who might not be being spoken to otherwise. And good 100%. for the show for listening to you. Yeah, it's, well, it's great because we're on a show where there's like a very open dialogue between the showrunner and ourselves and the costume designers and everybody. It's very collaborative. Um, but I think we're trying to create a show, at least to the best of our ability, that is representative of what the world looks like. And I think that w when we started the show, seeing a lesbian relationship on TV was kind of rare. I mean, the L word, obviously, praise. But I mean, that was fairly rare for a teen show. So for us to do that, it was really exciting and new. And now I feel like I'm seeing it more, which is fantastic. That representation is important. I love your coworker too, Cole Sprouse. He came on the show. And <laughs> Did he? I think the world of him and his photography. Ugh. He's amazing. He's amazing. And funny. And cool. And charming. It's so annoying. He's kind of the complete package. It's so annoying. I know. And talented. And has a twin brother. Which is actually better, to be honest. Yeah. Because when you're mad at Cole, you hang out with Dylan. It's great. Double down on their awesomeness. Exactly. Um, well, season six of Riverdale premieres tonight. Um, there have been storylines about organ harvesting, uh, cults, <laughs> serial killers. So I'm intrigued. What's next? Sacrifice. Interesting. Blood. Uh-huh. More, more blood than you've ever seen. Uh-huh. Um, sacrifice, like you, I don't, that's lovely. Um, there was a deer. There's another sacrifice coming up soon. That's exciting. Um, well, you have two new projects about, I am so excited for you to tell me about them. There's Jane, mm -hmm. and there's also About Fate. Yes. So will you tell me about them both? Jane is really precious to me. I produced it. It's the first project I produced from the ground up. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Um, do you have a production company? It is in the works right now. It's very exciting for me, so I'm looking for a new option to material, or I, material to option. Do you have a name for it? Do you have? I do. I haven't announced it. I'm still okay. working on it. All right. So when you do, when you I do, I'll come back tell me, and we can please. talk about it. Um, but Jane is really important to me because I struggle with anxiety and panic attacks a lot. It's something that I've dealt with for a long time and even more so when the show came out, obviously. That's just what the nature of our industry is. Um, and so when I read the script, it felt like it personified anxiety so well to me that it spoke to me in a way I'd never read or seen anything before that did that. It made me feel seen, which is what I make art for, right? So when I read that, I was like, I have to make this, and it didn't have financing, so we worked to make it happen. And it was a bootleg, and it worked, and I'm really excited for that to come out. I just finished my final cut of it. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Can you tell me about your other project, please? Yes, About Fate is a really fun romantic comedy with Emma Roberts, where I play the lead Thomas Mann's girlfriend. She's fun and kooky and a little crazy in the best way and very career-driven and uh, doesn't get what she wants and doesn't like that. And she's pretty manipulative, which is fun. She sounds like Cheryl when I describe her, to be honest, but she's nothing like Cheryl. She's super fun and different, and uh, her name is Clementine. 
Oh, I love that name. Good Cute, name. Right? And it's fun to be like manipulative and all these things that you wouldn't be in real life. Oh, 100%. Like I would never manipulate people. I've always wanted to play like a Black Widow character because I'm so not a Black Widow. <laughs> well, 23 million followers on Instagram and... Um, <laughs> It's a big deal. Social media is our new frontier. I imagine what parents thought when they rolled in those radios and TVs, and then you've got the internet, and this is the new frontier. We all have platforms and yeah. abilities to you know, have a voice or show uh, and share. Yeah. Um, so you posted a video actually um, last year, um, and it's a cute holiday video. And so because it's the holidays, I thought maybe if it's okay, can we share it? Sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, roll the tape. This is a song called A Christmas Tree, and it's in German. And it's really called A Tannenbaum. Oh, turn and bam, oh, turn and bam, the choosing turn of winter. Oh, turn and bam, oh, turn and bam. Definitely before social media. That was kicking it old school oh, with, yeah. like, the time count in there. Yep. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. It's yeah. so sweet to see you in many different iterations, characters, ages, all of it. But it is so wonderful to have this conversation with you. Yes, thank, thank you for you. coming here. Thanks for having me. Madeline Hatch, season six of Riverdale, returns tonight on The CW at 9 o'clock Eastern and 8 o'clock Central. We'll all be on the feeder.